Hello and welcome. Today we will learn about shared mailboxes, uh, how to create, edit, or modify shared mailboxes. So let's get started. Uh, shared mailbox is uh, just like user mailbox uh, with only one difference that there is no login information to access that account. Uh, only the user mailbox which has permission to access that mailbox can access it. Okay, this type of mailbox is mainly used by team who need to access same content, same folder and same task. Okay, uh, uh, like it can be used by uh, by the person by the team of persons working on the same project okay so uh, today we will learn how we can easily create edit or modify shared mailboxes so let's get started first of all you will need to log into your office 365 account and then you will need to click on admin option okay after clicking on admin option uh, you will need to expand that groups tab Okay, after expanding that groups tab, you will need to click on shared mailboxes. After clicking on shared mailboxes, uh, you will need to click on add a shared mailbox. Okay, now we need, we just need to enter some information like name of your shared mailboxes. I am entering here uh, team work. Then uh, you will need to give an email ID. You will need to assign an email ID to that shared mailbox. You can give an email ID you want and then click I have already given teamwork. So after that click on add button. Okay, the shared mailbox was created. It may take a few minutes before you can add it members. Okay, now we can click on view details to view the details of our shared mailbox. Uh, here we can see some details like name, uh, where it is name of our shared mailbox, email ID of our shared mailbox. Uh, email forwarding, we have uh, disabled the year for email forwarding. We can enable it by clicking on edit button and then we can turn it on from here now we need to enter the forwarding address uh, that is if some emails enter to our shared mailbox where we need to forward that mail if email forwarding is applied then that particular mail will be forwarded to the forwarding address so we can add, enter the forwarding address here uh, presently i am tur uh, turning it off cancel uh, Okay, and the next one is automatic replies. Uh, you can set automatic replies like uh, if someone uh, drops an email to you, you can send them a welcome message uh, by default welcome message. Uh, and then there is sent items, email apps, light holds, and then most important is members. Okay, uh, here we will see how we can add members to our shared mailbox. To add members, just click on edit button then you will need to click on add members from there you can select the members that you need to add to your shared mailbox after selecting the members click on save button and see shared mailbox member were successfully updated important it may take up to 60 minutes for the changes to be effective in outlook and OA. now i can close this window I have already added the shared mailboxes. Uh, now, one more thing that is important in shared mailbox is customize permissions. Yes, we can customize permissions of, uh, of our members. Okay, what a member can do with our shared mailbox. There are several permissions like read and manage, send as, send on behalf. Read and manage, I have assigned to our whole mailboxes. You can add it and remove any of, any of the member if you don't want. Okay, send as. Uh, send as uh, send as permission and then send on behalf you can you can update these settings as per your requirement okay then show in global address list if you want to show that shared mailbox in your global address list 
then you can uh, just uh, keep it yes otherwise you can disable it okay now close it this is all about shared mailbox how we can create shared mailbox and if so we have successfully created the shared mailbox uh, now we will learn how to edit the already created shared mailbox like how to edit uh, how to add members to shared mailbox or delete members from shared mailbox uh, how to update permissions and other things for that just click on exchange option uh, and then from the exchange admin center you will need to click on recipients tab from the recipients tab uh, click on shared and there you will see the shared mailboxes just select that shared mailbox and click on edit button from there you can edit the display name alias name if you need to add or remove members to the shared mailbox click on mailbox delegation and and there you can see to whom you have full access who has sent as access you can add members or delete members from there if required uh, you can see your mailbox usage 9.66 kb used you can see the contact informations if you have added i haven't updated any contact information so it is not visible here and other things you can uh, uh, see you, and other related information about shared mailbox you can see there so that's all in this uh, here we have seen how we can edit the shared mailbox a deletion is simple just select the mailbox and click on delete button so in this video uh, we have learned what is shared mailbox how to uh, create a new shared mailbox or how to delete or edit a already existing how to delete or edit existing shared mailbox thank you hope you liked our video please like share and subscribe thank you